In this first example, we are going to test MicroRoss Publishers. In order to do so, we are going to create a MicroRoss node named MyRenesas node. Then we are going to create a couple of publishers. The first of them is going to be named in Publisher 1, the second in Publisher 2. Both of them are going to use a default profile QoS and are going to use in 32 uh, type. Then we are going to create a couple of timers. The first timer is going to execute timer callback every one second and the second timer is going to execute timer callback to every half second. Finally, we just create an executor, add the entities to the executor, in this case, both timers, and finally, we spin the executor forever. If we check the callbacks that the timer are triggering, the first of them is just publishing an increasing number. Also, it turns on the blue LED when the number is even. The second timer callback does the same thing but using the green LED. Now we are going to check how does our publisher application works. First of all, we are going to use a MicroS agent that listened in a USB port. Then we click on the debug button on Renesa C Square Studio in order to load the Microsoft application in the board. We run the application and we can see how the Microsoft client is communicating through XRCDDS with the Microsoft agent. Now let's check if we have available the Microsoft nodes in the ROST2 environment. Here we can see our my Renesas node. We can check also the information of this node. Let's check how many publishers does it have. Here we can see that we have available a couple of publishers. We also can check the rate of these publishers. The first of them should be 1 Hz because the timer callback is executed every one second. If we check the publishing rate of the publisher, publisher 2, it should be 2 Earth because the timer callback 2 is being executed every half second. Finally, we can check the data that is being published in the topic. First, the publisher 1, and second, the data published in topic 2. Now we can see the data that is being published to the ROS2 data space and how the development board brings the lab according to our logic.